Students, in the previous slide, we had seen the formula along with its name, along with the oxidation state. In this question that I have for you, which pair of oxy acid or phosphorus contains pH bond? To work this numerical, you need to technically know how to write the structures. So how do I write the structures? Though I am teaching an unconventional way of learning it, remember my code word to write the structure. P double bond oxygen umbrella is my code word. P double bond oxygen umbrella is my code word. Let us try for the option, first option that I have, H3PO4. When I devise this H3PO4 phosphorus, the central atom is phosphorus, double bond O as I said, code worded as umbrella, three bonds like this. Total number of oxygen atom that I have is four. I have used up one, remaining three, allocate the remaining three to three bonds and left over with three hydrogen atom, H, H and H. From this I understand from the structure that I do not have any pH bond at all. Therefore, Option A is not the relevant answer. I'll continue helping you again how to do how to devise the answer for it. Taking the next step H3PO3. Help me out as I do. So you are aware phosphorus double bond O three bonds. Now total number of oxygen that I have is three used up is one remaining two. I give one two three hydrogen atoms are there, I devise it, H, H and H, yes, I have one pH bond. But you look into this option A, one satisfies, the other doesn't satisfy. If I look into this, I don't have H3, uh, H3PO3, I look into option C, where I have H3PO3, which is satisfying, I also have H3PO2, try working out for H3PO2, see if it satisfies this question. Therefore, I have H3PO2, I will take phosphorus, double bond oxygen, umbrella is my code word, total number of oxygen that I have is 2, used up 1, remaining 1, therefore I have 1 here, 3 hydrogen, 1, 2 and 3, now I read the question, which pair of oxy acids of phosphorus contain pH bond? I suppose my relevant and most probable answer is H3PO3 and H3PO2 because both of them have got pH bond. You may have a doubt again. Why don't you try out for H3PO2? Because it has got an option called H3PO2 also has. I have this HPO3, I would like to speak about this. HPO3 is metaphosphoric acid, metaphosphoric acid. It doesn't have an open chain structure as I have here. It has got cyclic structure, cyclotrimetaphosphoric acid and there it doesn't have a pH bond. So do remember HPO3 doesn't have an open chain structure as I have written here. It has got a cyclic structure, cyclotrimetaphosphoric acid is the structure that I have to write that is HPO3 and then thrice. Hope you have understood this question. In this question, we have in pyrophosphoric acid, you are lucky enough to have the formula also H4P2O7, the number of sigma and pi bonds present in the structure. So how do I work this? So you are aware, when I try to write the structure, I remember telling one code word, P double bond O umbrella. So let me devise that formula once again. Therefore P, there are two phosphor atom P, taken care, double bond oxygen, double bond oxygen, umbrella 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, taken care. Total number of oxygen that I have is 7, used up is 2, remaining is 5. Now how do I allocate this 5? I can give 2 here and 1 here, happy, 2 here and 1 here, very happy. But who is going to take 2 and who is going to take 1? Whenever this problem arises, 
distribute the odd one to the center. Therefore, you have, ha you have one oxygen at the center. Taken care. Remaining that I have is four. So these four are allocated to one, two, three, and then four. The remaining four hydrogen atom that I give, one, two, three, and then four. This is the structure of pyrophosphoric acid. Hope you have understood how to write the structure. When I look into the structure again, the question clearly says calculate the number of sigma bonds and pi bonds present in it. So let me calculate the number of sigma bonds and pi bonds present in it. Now, how do I do it? I break the bond now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Don't be happy with this. You have got 10 sigma bonds. A sigma bond will also be accompanied by a pi bond 10, 11, 12. Total number of sigma bond that I have is 12. Hope you have understood. Wherever there is a double bond, it should necessarily have a pi bond. There are two double bonds. Understood that there are two pi bonds present in it. Therefore, the relevant, most appropriate, the correct answer for this is option D. 12 and 2. Hope you have understood this. Students, in the previous question, when I had explained to you about metaphosphoric acid, I said that you cannot write the structure, open structure for it. Now I have a formula here. HPO3 written in cyclic format, it is cyclotrimetaphosphoric acid. Previous question, we calculated the number of sigma bonds and pi bonds. Now I want to calculate the number of single bonds and double bonds that this cyclotrimetaphosphoric acid hosts. And also, I would also calculate the number of POP bonds. Together we shall try to solve these two questions. How do I write the structure of it? Cyclotrimetaphosphoric acid HPO3 it is cyclotri I have written it three times. From this I understand phosphorus is three times arranged in cyclic fashion therefore P, P and one more P. Put it up like this. Remember my technical terms that I had devised to you earlier that whenever I have phosphorus and I want to write the structure, double bond O and umbrella telling that phosphorus is surrounded by five bonds. Therefore, here double bond O, umbrella 1, 2 and 3. Again, double bond oxygen 1, 2 and 3. Again, double bond oxygen and I'm writing 1, 2 and 3. Total number of oxygen atom that I have, 3 into 3 is 9. I have already used up 3, the remaining 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Hope you have understood. Number of hydrogen atom that is remaining is 3. That will definitely be for OH, OH and OH. If I happen to look into these two questions, let me complete the later on question here. The number of POP bonds in cyclotrimetaphosphoric acid, POP bond is specifying, therefore I have 1, 2 and 3. The number of POP bonds is 3. My option is option C, which has got 3 POP bonds. Hope you have understood this. Mm -hmm.